my name is Kiara Castle. I'm gonna be showing you guys what I eat in a week as a vegan. And basically it's all the breakfast, lunch, and dinners I had over the past week. And a lot of them really speak to my heart, so I think you'll love them. And last thing, if you wanna see more vegan content, just don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe so that I know. And yeah, so let's hop right into Saturday. So I'm starting off with a sweet potato burrito bowl. I'm gonna put these sweet potatoes in the oven. So I'm setting, preheating it to 400 and put the rice in there, the olive oil, the salt, and the garlic salt, garlic, garlic powder. <laughs> and then I'm going to go ahead and mix in the sweet potatoes. And this is actually one large sweet potato. There was a lot of pieces in it, so that was exciting. And then right here, I'm laying them out so that I could go ahead and put them in the oven. Uh, oh my gosh, <laughs> look how good they look. <laughs> but next, I'm going to go and cut up an avocado and a lime because, you know, I love your limes. By the way, this is a tip. When it comes out the fridge and you can't get any of it out, any of the juice, just like roll it and squeeze it so that, you know, when you have to squeeze the lemon out, I mean the lime or the lemon out, you know, it comes out easier. But yeah, I'm only going to use half an avocado. Um, I don't know why I took the ball out because I ended up putting it in the fridge for later, the other half. And yeah, so the rice is all done. Then I cut up one red pepper and I cut up a whole onion, but you can cut up half. I just really like sweet onions. So this is a sweet onion that I used and put some water in there so it can cook and the, the vegetables won't get stuck to the pan. And yeah, that is my burrito bowl. So on Sunday, I started off with a tahini dressing and... I actually had what I, I ate what I had last night, but I forgot to put the dressing and cheese, missed opportunities, but you know, I put the tahini dressing in there, some lemon, some hot sauce, some garlic powder, and I think that's all I put in there. Oh, and some Himalayan salt. I love Himalayan salt, it's so good. It tastes so much better than regular salt. But yes, warming up my bowl, and then gonna put my tahini in there, like, guys this was so good i don't like tahini and i don't like sunflower seeds because you know tahini's made out of sunflower seeds but this was so good i think the hot sauce made it and then i put some vegan cheese on top and yeah i had two bananas for a snack that day and moving on to monday so on monday i had some vegan pancakes goodness they were so good let me tell you the key to vegan pancakes you have to, number one, sift in the baking powder because you see those little balls in there? Yeah, you don't wanna be tasting those. And also, the baking powder gives it that fluff, right? And then the second step is actually the chia seeds. That's what people don't talk about, but if, you know, since we're vegan, well, if you're watching this, I assume you're vegan, but um, we use these, or chia seeds for an egg, uh, I cannot talk <laughs> for an egg substitute and that is the key having that the um, that chia seed mix so what I did is I let the chia seed sit for a while and right here I'm just cutting up the strawberries and bananas for the pancakes and then the topping that I'm going to make for it but I let the chia seed sit and now I'm putting the the almond milk and the olive oil the olive oil is good because it helps the it helps the pancake cook all the way through and then I put some maple syrup some vin some not vinegar sorry no don't put vinegar <laughs> but some uh, some vanilla extract and then I forgot to put my cinnamon in there at first and my mixture of like flour and baking powder I mean baking yeah baking powder and salt so I put that in there mix the ingredients and look how beautiful this is like if you can like it's just ah this looks so good to me and the, the another key to good vegan pancakes is not to over mix it um it's you know just you know leave a little lump or two in there <laughs> but yeah so starting off by put, using a napkin to put some more olive oil to coat the pan and then i made like at least 10 pancakes with this mix 10 or 11 and then put the uh, the bananas on top and goodness uh, I love a fried banana so like when I was biting into the fried banana I was like wow this is so good and yeah 
So as for the toppings, I use a lot of butter, um, a lot of maple syrup, a lot of cinnamon. I was going for like a sweet taste and then I poured the strawberries and bananas in there. Now I know it, it looks really sweet, but it was so good. I think next time I'm not going to put as much maple syrup though, no, no lie. But here I'm using Just Egg. If you haven't heard of Just Egg, it is a popular vegan substitute. And then right here I'm putting the Himalayan salt, you can't really tell. And then I put the pepper and y'all doesn't this look just like eggs and the crazy part is if you season it right it will taste just like eggs like it already does but ah it just makes a difference and then i sprinkle some cheese on there i love cheese on my eggs cheesy eggs and then um that that's actually vegan that's vegan don't worry but vegan syrup and then yeah i have these for snacks don't recommend them and then i have this for snack again later i recommend this 100 percent. i love so delicious like the snickerdoodle pieces in there just made it but when i got to the bottom they were running out but the ones at the top were really good and then I drink Good Billy at least once a day uh, for like health reasons or whatever, for like good digestive health. And then right here, I'm just drinking lemon water. I love lemon water. I try to drink it at least once a day, both that and the Good Billy. But on to Tuesday, I am eating some creamy vegan potato curry and y'all. This was my favorite meal that I've ever made, ever. And um, I actually have never had kale because I had to use kale, but right here, I'm cleaning off the rice, just the starch or whatever. Um, I clean it, about, clean it off about three or four times. And then, like I said, or I don't know if I said this, but I haven't eaten kale before. It was my first time eating kale. So I struggled trying to get those off, but I eventually got them off. I massaged the kale for like 10 minutes until it got this green color. As you can kind of see, and I try to zoom in, I poured the water out to re-massage it again in some new water, and it should be that color when you are done massaging it. If it's not that color, keep massaging it because it breaks down those fibers that so that you can get those nutrients and that so that your body can digest the kale better. And yes, this is the kale. It was so pretty after I got done massaging it. But I'm gonna throw in one golden potato and then an orange pepper into the mix and some salt and pepper and roll that around in some olive oil so it can be all, you know, shiny. <laughs> but I put it in the oven. And then I put some garlic on the stove to get ready to make my curry and then I put the kale inside, let that shrink up a little bit, and then my baby Bella mushrooms. Oh gosh, that those mushrooms are just everything, everything. I love baby Bella mushrooms. And got some coconut milk, uh, some cayenne pepper. I was struggling with that cayenne pepper so um, you'll see me put it in there a few times. Then the, the Jamaican curry and also the onion powder, I put pepper in there, and last but not least, I put some salt, and I mix that all up. Oh, that's more cayenne pepper. But um, I mix that all up until it came to this color. Oh gosh, that color is so beautiful, like wow, golden. But I poured that in the mix after everything was um, was shrunken a little more, all the vegetables were shrunken in, and I didn't have any tomatoes, so I just used a can of tomato, uh, diced tomatoes in my pantry and that made it oh gosh I made it so then I threw in the rest of the stuff from the oven which is the potatoes and the orange peppers and y'all look at this like this picture doesn't even do it justice it was darker but it was lighter trust me it was so good but next I'm making raspberry banana hummus originally it was supposed to be like a cake batter mix but I ended up making like hummus I don't know but it was so good I put some salt I put uh Yes, all this, the salt, the, the brown sugar, the melted butter, and what else? Oh, the vanilla extract. And I mixed it and mixed it. The first time I tried it, it wasn't sweet enough for me. So that's when I put more sugar. And then I put um, a banana. I was just getting creative, but it ended up being really good. Then I put a raspberry or some raspberries in. And like, this is the best bread I've ever made myself. I can't say the best one I've had, but it's the best one I've made for myself. Put more maple syrup because I like my stuff sweet and more brown sugar. I love, love, love sweet spreads. Um, but yeah, I stored that in a little mason jar and I have like half left. It's like all gone. Use some organic vegan bread. Put some flax seeds on top to give me that protein that I need. And yeah, that was my little snack so on to wednesday on wednesday i had chocolatey cin cinnamon granola so i started off with making like a, a powder 
um, with the cashews and the oats and yep that's how it looked it looked really good so I took that out after I blended it for about two minutes and put some more oats in there some salt a pinch of salt a lot of cinnamon and I accidentally put too much cacao powder but it made it it made it I got lucky that I put a lot it was so good but then next I went ahead and got some almond butter this is really good by the way that's why I'm showing it on the screen and then some maple syrup I ran out so I gotta buy some more um, yeah so I mixed those two until it came to this consistency and I just wanted to eat it off the plate but I had to make my snack so <laughs> I went ahead and put it in here and mixed it all together and then I put it in the oven which you'll see in a second yeah put it out on the on the parchment paper and then I popped it in the oven <laughs> and then um when it's finished you have the option of putting freeze-dried fruit on there this is my freeze-dried mangoes I didn't have many in there but they were so good um, and yeah now I'm making some toast that spread I made yet that spread I made yesterday I put that on the toast and then I ended up making like a cereal y'all it was so good like I put bananas in it and milk and it was really good I was really shook and then there's my mangoes on the side and then yes y'all my chia seeds on top it was so good and then you know I had to get my good belly in every day so next later it was like midnight I ended up putting some cashews pumpkin seeds and sunflower seeds in there um, in a in a bowl and then I put like some honey butter syrup I had some extra honey butter syrup I had some old stuff and then y'all this was really good I was just craving honey I mean not honey why do I keep saying honey syrup I was craving syrup and nuts so that's what I had and then I had my lemon my lemon water and yeah so on to Thursday look at this beautiful avocado like that looks like the memes but yeah so I had um avocado toast and then I cut up my fruit for my breakfast and got the butters for my toast and then I had some more of my eggs y'all these eggs are so bomb I cannot believe they're eggs like they are so good and my recommendation is to cook them on low so you don't overcook them in the beginning because I did that the first time I used them but yeah so here's my toast no explanation yet. I mean it's avocado toast with some chia seeds you know for that protein and then I used my blue agave for my my sh strawberries if you can't tell I'm a really like a super sweet tooth and then I, I got some granola from yesterday I love like sweet stuff but on Friday I had some broccoli and macaroni and cheese oh and carrots so I cut up two two heads of broccoli cleaned those off and then I threw them in the pot with a whole bag of frozen frozen carrots and then onto the best vegan mac and cheese you will have ever heard of but I made the elbow pasta put my olive oil and my butter finished that up and then when I was finished with that I started on the sauce with the sauce I used a half a can of coconut milk I put some vegan butter in there I put some um, oh yes almond milk <laughs> and then I had to use this because I didn't have nutritional yeast so I just used my Daya shredded cheese which I think made it it was awesome and then some pepper I think I used see oh no I did use seasoning salt so I used some seasoning salt and onion powder I used turmeric to give it that yellow color here I am struggling again with my cayenne pepper come on Kiara <laughs> and then yeah the turmeric was at the end but um, one thing I can say is like at the store they ran out of tofu and nutritional yeast so I did have to substitute um, so yeah that's why I had to get the vegan cheese um, I know not everyone has it but if you have nutritional yeast I'd say just use nutritional yeast but here's where the magic happens y'all just look at the con like just <sighs> I, I'm just like so shook and then I put the paprika oh yeah and paprika just look at this like it looks like rolled mac and cheese and it tastes better it tastes better than rolled mac and cheese I'm not even capping y'all I ate mac and cheese every single day in high school I love mac and cheese but yeah after that was you know after that was done I sprinkled some paprika on top and then right here I'm just adding some salt and pepper um, Himalayan salt and pepper to my vegetable medley and yeah that pretty much wraps up my week um what i ate in the week um if you have any questions you know let me know below and if you will like other vegan videos please let me know i would love to i had a lot of fun making these videos please 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 if you like these videos too don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see y'all next time okay bye